Hey, what's up, Life Old Joe here. Today we are going to discuss Coming to America. This is the sequel, the 2021 sequel to the 1988 classic Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall film. This time around we have Leslie Snipes in this, we have Leslie Jones in this, the kid from uh, Superior Donuts, whose name I can never remember, he's in this. A bunch of other people are in this. Everyone's reprising their roles from the from the first film 30, what, 1, 32, 33 years ago. Um, a lot of the plot points revolve around when Akeem and uh, Semi were in the like first club they went to, which I just find hysterical. I also find it interesting that Eddie Murphy was able to play an old Jewish white male again, because I honestly didn't think that was going to be a thing anymore, but uh, I was surprised. So this is pretty neat. Turns out um, Akeem had a son with a hooker, uh, Leslie Jones, who uh, in it, like it drugged him prior to him finding Lisa and then falling in love with Lisa. So like uh, this key, this this son of his has to be located in Queens. So Akeem and, and uh, Semi are going back to Queens to find the son. Um, but Akeem and Lisa have three daughters and the, the eldest daughter, you know, has been training all her life to be the heir, but the law says that males can only be the heir. And it, we see this all the time. We see it in Princess Diaries, a bunch of other shows. So it's a matter of what happens. So there's the neighboring, you know, neighbor, what is it called? Nextoria, which is run by uh, Wesley Snipes' character, and he's trying to, you know, marry off his daughter. And his sister is the one who Akeem had made, you know, jump on one foot and bark like a dog all those years ago. So, um, Prince Akeem's son doesn't uh, starts to want to marry the princess of Nextoria, but then starts to fall in love with his barber, um, whose name I can't remember. And then they escape to Queens, and then they go back to you know, Zamumba, but it's just, it's very entertaining. There's a lot of, like, heart in this movie that I didn't expect, a lot of, like, emotional points, but it was just fun. It was funny. It just, you felt like you were right back there. And so some of the most obscure characters got reprisals, like the, the two rapping sisters in the club got to have a reprisal, like um, the Sexual Chocolate Band got to have a reprisal. Like, it was just so cool seeing an unnecessary sequel come to life in the way that it did. And Wakanda was mentioned. I did listen for it, so that was pretty. That was pretty neat as well. I like seeing the uh, the different African flair. I don't know the proper name for all the different clothing, but it's cool seeing the you know extravagant garments, the big hats, the big shoulder pads, you know the extravagant dresses, the just constant patterns and colors, especially on the guys' clothes too, with like that that shirt that like dips down here, kind of a thing, and like you wear like seven, eight different necklaces. I just I think it's a really cool uh, fashion piece. I. Do need to know the names of those shirts because I really like them. I really like them. They're really cool dress shirts. I will look into that. That's all I got. Mucho mahalo.